let me see if I got this right. So you've probably tried all the diets, all the supplements, just about all the workout programs, have gotten different tests done by different health professionals, and you still can't freaking figure out why you're holding on to the spare tire that you've had legit forever. You have your tests come back in range. Your energy level still sucks. Your mood fluctuates. A lot of times you're probably irritable. You just can't figure out what's going on. And it's almost like doctors don't know what to do for you either. Am I right? Am I kind of close? You can't figure out why all of the options that you've tried, you've exhausted and nothing gave you the results that you were looking for. And you probably are very close to where I was about eight years ago where you're like, I don't know what the hell else to do, but I can't live my life like this. It's past the point where, oh, I'm just holding on to some extra weight or, oh, I'm kind of tired. You're at that point where it is affecting your ability to show up for your spouse or your significant other and be present. Maybe you're really bitchy and irritable and it's like, you don't even want to (laughs) be. Do you ever get envious of people that are in good moods or people that are happy you're just like resentful of? Because you're like, why the hell does your life seem so great? Like, why are you happy? I remember I was there. It would annoy me that other people were happy because I was just so moody and so irritable. And I knew it had to do with my health because I didn't want to be in a bad mood. I didn't want to be pissy. Or maybe you're just not able to show up for your kids. Like they want to be able to go outside and play with mom or play with dad and Uh, you know, go for a walk or, you know, play with Play-Doh or play kickball or whatever it may be. And you're just so wiped that even if you're present, you're not present. You're not really with them. It probably has affected your job. You have no desire to go into work. It's really difficult for you to focus. And uh, if you're someone that's like a business owner or entrepreneur, maybe you're at that point where you know that it's holding you back into taking on new opportunities because you don't have the energy to keep up with them, nor do you feel you have the confidence or self-esteem to be able to fulfill the roles that you wanna be able to strive towards. Am I kind of close? You may just be at that point where you just feel like, is this all in my head? Like they clearly can't figure out something that's wrong with me, so what is going on? Am I just genetically screwed? Because you look at other people that are seeing results or that are getting answers or that are healing, And you can't figure out why it's not working for you, especially when you've been to other health professionals. They're supposed to be the professional. They're supposed to be able to help you figure it out. And so, guys, if you don't know me by now, my name is Alyssa Lascala, and uh, I am an exercise and sports science specialist. I am a certified personal trainer, um, certified gluten-free practitioner, and for the last decade, I have had my own health battles. This is why I can kind of resonate with where you're coming from here. Guys, Lyme disease, adrenal fatigue, mold toxicity, breast implant illness, mood swings, irritability, hormones, out of whack galore. And I went through my share of health professionals feeling like completely defeated because the answer that I got after three years of doing the typical Western medicine route was three years and three doctors was I was a type A personality and um, I just needed to stress less. If any of you guys are type A personalities out there, you know that if somebody says that to you, you're like, cool, thank you, Sherlock. Like, <laughs> this is, have you been to this world? <laughs> or are you in this current time? Because it's impossible not to stress. It's just, our world is just constantly on overdrive, so that wasn't an option. And so to stress less or work out less, wasn't really something, I knew something else was going on at the surface. You have that hunch, you had that gut feeling, right? You guys have that gut feeling or you wouldn't be watching this video that you feel that there's something else going on. If you felt like it was just you, you wouldn't be giving this video a time of day. So you're exactly where I was about nine years ago, trying to figure out what the hell is going on with me. And no one has been able to figure out the root cause. They may have given you like symptom drug, for symptom surgery, and they just pile on Band-Aids. I'd been through, it was actually four different specialists in three years, and I didn't have an answer. 
Then I dived into the functional medicine realm and the integrative medicine realm to realize the reason why people were still sick and fat and tired. And I was in that realm of being so sick and so tired at the ripe and early age of my early 20s, trying to figure out how I was possibly going to get through the rest of my life when I felt like I was already 90 years old. You get to the point where you just... Your, your quality of life is so crappy. Your feeling about yourself is so crappy that you say, if this is how life is supposed to be, if this is how life is going to be, do I even have a desire to live it? I just need to be real and transparent with you guys because I know what my clients tell me. I know where my brain was nine years ago and I have to be real and upfront, authentic and genuine and just super raw with you because when you have exhausted many of your other options and you've given up hope, it's really hard to have that desire to live life or to even continue taking the steps towards your regular healthy practices. If you don't feel like you're going to get any better, of course, you're going to eat like shit. Of course, you're then, you know, if you don't, not a big workout person and it doesn't fuel you, you're not going to want to work out more. You're not going to want to do self care or detox protocols or prioritize yourself because nothing's working. So why would you do that? It just seems like a waste. I want you to know that that's not true. I want to give you this beacon of hope to know that the answer is still there. You just haven't found the right person to help you. And that is what I'm here for. Guys, what I specialize in is taking all of these aspects of your health. My goal is to listen to your story and to figure out how we can peel back all these layers to figure out where you have been, where you're currently at, and where you're trying to go. Most health professionals are looking at surface level. They are not looking at things like what your gut health looks like. Are you having the right microbiome balance? Um, are you being exposed to different environmental toxins, whether they be chemical, it could be mold, you have um, EMFs or electromagnetic um, you know, frequencies flowing through you that throw off the electrical balance of your body. The emotional aspect of people have been through trauma that haven't dealt with it. Guys, I don't care whether it's a physical trauma, financial trauma, emotional trauma, divorce, illness, abuse, whatever it is. If you haven't learned how to rewire your body and your brain after going through a stressor like that, your body will continue to be in the fight or flight mode. And it doesn't matter how well you eat and how well you work out. You'll never overpower this chemical reaction going on in your body that happens when you're stressed. These are the things, these are the pieces that have been missing from your situation. So if you want a pocket practitioner in your corner to be able to help you take all of these important aspects of health and piece it together like it's supposed to be to get you to heal from the inside out so that you can get healthier, so that you can get your energy back, get a stable mood back, rebuild your relationships, lose the weight, get your confidence, get your self-esteem so you can start to live book a call with me. Let's get on the phone. I want to see where you're at and let's figure out the best path for you to go down. So I cannot wait to talk with you. You have hope guys. I promise you it is just one call away. I cannot wait to chat with you.